here you didn't have any atlas. Why is because like most species of deer, only the males will grow the atlas. Females will never grow any. All right, now up in the trees we have proboscis monkeys. Now proboscis monkeys are native to Borneo, and they are only found natively in Borneo. Now perhaps the most distinctive trait that everyone knows about our proboscis monkeys is that some of them have this really big nose. Now this nose can go to a length of over 10 centimeters. However, it only goes to this kind of length on the males. Female proboscis, their noses will never get that big. Now what do male proboscis monkeys use their nose for? They use it for attracting females. The bigger the nose on the proboscis, the more attractive he is to other females. Now proboscis monkeys are part of a group of monkeys known as polybide monkeys. Now polybide monkeys are monkeys that feed on leaves as their main source of food. So this is why you see our keeper here has hung several bundles of leaves for them to feed on. And the food you see us giving them now, all this is just to help supplement their diet and to act like a tree. Now, proboscis monkeys are also very well known for being quite a vocal species of monkey. Now, these animals have a very wide range of calls. Now, mother proboscis even has specific calls for their infants in order to reassure them. Now, if some of you are wondering why you will allow proboscis have this big stomach, well, this is actually an adaptation for them. Because as it turns out, when your diet mostly consists of leaf, you need a very specialized digestive system. Oh! So, that's the point where the proboscis monkeys digest is also there of certain herbivores that is to other primates. <coughs> Alright everyone, now with that, this brings me to the end of my commentary for proboscis monkeys. Now if any of you have to Southeast Asia, and as everyone can probably guess, they get their name from a barking something, right? Now barking deer will only bark when they are feeling threatened, and they will not bark for any other reason. Now these animals have the ability to bark for over one hour, and they tend to bark more often when their visibility is somehow impaired. Now some of you might have seen that our barking deer here have these strange markings on their lower eyelids. Now this is their set plant. In order for barking deer to mark their territory, they actually...